How you doing everybody? Professor EDC with another um, Blade Loss of his Sunday. Um, in this occasion, well, we're continuing with um, Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings and uh, we're uh, three-fourths of the book. So there's very little left and um, another great um, chapter they're very brief, so bear with me and uh, my translation. So here we go. Know the descent, or it can also be translated as no um, weakness. The descent or weakness is something that happens to all things. When they uh, start to weaken, whether a horse, a person, or an adversary, it is said that they are out of rhythm and their time is up. In battles, it is essential to find the rhythm of adversaries. When they weaken and uh, chase them without giving them the opportunity to recover, if we don't use these moments in which they are vulnerable, we will lose the opportunity of counterattack. In duels, in individual duels, there's also moments in which the adversary loses rhythm and starts to crumble or starts to um, weaken. If we don't use this opportunity, the adversary will recover and will um, block our attack. It is important that we reinforce our attack in the moment that the adversary has any loss of strength or position in this way we will not allow him to recover persecution demands power and determination it all consists on striking violently and in such a way that the adversary cannot recover. This form of striking must be practiced over and over. There we go. Well, very interesting. And um, this is the sum of many things that we have been talking about. This is the sum of attention, um, developing and strengthening our attention and knowing reality, knowing our reality and uh, the reality in our surroundings and the reality of an adversary or an enemy. And to notice, to know this descent, he talks about descent as in um, getting weaker and weaker by by the moment and we can see this weakening or this descent for example in nature um, we can see it st starting to happen in in autumn and then see, seeing it more uh, w clearly seeing it clearly in winter we can see uh, this weakening happening and we know it's it's the moment one of the best moments to um, use some organic fertilizer and uh, mulch um, the ground the earth we can also see this happening in in our lives when we are excited about something and when we feel strong about something 
but then again, there comes a moment when um, we reach a peak in in the climax of that energy boost or level, and once we arrive there, there's a moment of downhill, and that's the moment when we need to attack. That's the moment when we need to do something, and um, that's what I think Miyamoto um, Musashi refers to. We are living through, we're going through very difficult times, and it is essential that we develop uh, even more attention and uh, we fight distraction and dispersion. These are the main enemies of our practice. Um, they make us, um, they take us to the surface and not analyze and think things over and observe uh, carefully a situation. And in order for us to notice the adequate or the, the, proper, the proper moment when we should attack or when we should do something. For example, this does not only um, apply to, to martial arts, it, it can apply as well to economy and um, investing. So if we take a look at the markets and get to know a bit of the market, um, we'll learn when is the best moment to invest money. And it can also happen in, in our personal lives. We'll, we can notice when we are, we, we have reached the peak and then we're getting weaker and we need another boost of energy of, um, what you might call it, um, not excitement, but um, motivation. And we need to motivate ourselves and, in, and like uh, injecting um, a piece of information, a, a piece of music, something that boosts us up again and don't allow us to um, drop to the floor and, and get depressed and, and weak because life I don't want to say life is our enemy because it's not that way, but life will present difficult situations. And as we know, it's not um, going to be easy. And uh, generally, life as in nature, and as we can see in nature, it's very difficult to, to find compassion. And uh, I don't think life is very compassionate. Life is what it is. Nature is what it is. And um, a characteristic is it's not that it's uh, very compassionate. So we can find, we can certainly find examples of, of compassion, but it, it is not the norm. So, and that's why we must practice. That's why um, we have to develop our attention span because it can be developed. If we um, compare it to our sight and as a normal human sight, well, we might have 20-20 eye vision, okay? And that would be our normal um, attention span. But um, we can also develop that that uh, 20, 20 sight into the vision of a hawk or a wolf or the vision um, 
the powerful vision of a microscope or a telescope. This has been proven and uh, as a matter of fact, science is studying this um, as of today, as of right now. This is uh, something that it's um, going on and it's something that we can do at home and something that's going to give us that certain intuition in, bus in business, that certain intuition in a dangerous situation, um, that certain feeling of being in danger, you know? Um, but it can be done. And our main enemy is distraction and allowing distraction to take over our lives. This is one of the first things um, I mentioned to many of um, my, my students' parents because they allow for distraction to take over their, their children's lives. And um, they rather have them play Nintendo or watch TV than, than having to spend time with their children or um, teaching them something at home. I can understand, I can understand that we all need space and, and some um, time to recover. But um, as a parent, you have different responsibilities. And, and one of those responsibilities is to look for the best for your children. And by, and I don't mean anything by, with, uh, again, I'm not against uh, uh, video games, but I do think um, the time that uh, a child spends in front of a computer, in front of a telephone, uh, using internet or playing a video game should be limited to half an hour. Um, and throughout my life, I have seen the benefits of developing strengthening strengthen strengthening attention in a in a child and not only in a child but in my life as well um, I used to be a person that was very distractive and um, that was able to, I got dispersed very easily. And then I started um, studying and then I started meditating. And I was able to do things that in the past I wasn't able to. Um, even, even my humor, um, my personality improved and it is still improving. Um, so, in order for us to detect the moment when something needs to be done, whether we need to protect ourselves or a loved one, whether uh, we need to, um, when driving, you know, make a, 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 an aggressive turn to prevent an accident, there, there needs to be attention and uh, a general knowing of the of what surrounds us. So, for that to happen, we need to d strengthen our attention and become smarter and wiser and practice. Anyways, those are the thoughts for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, during the week, I will give a, an announcement um, because I was interviewed in, in, a, in a program, in a YouTube channel. And I will tell you about it, a little bit about it in the announcement and when it's coming out, okay? And in case you want to watch it, it was very fun and interesting. And... Uh, uh, Ray and I had a, a great time, uh, a good friend now. So anyways, um, this is your homework, guys. As a professor, yes, I'm giving you some homework. So please subscribe and share. 
click on the bell for notifications, especially when we have special um, episodes coming out. And uh, you can mail me or follow me on Instagram, okay? So, Professor EDC, out. Have a great week.